Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So friends, in this video, we will see the HP seal support system which is provided for the uh, LPG pumps which are there in the FGSS kit. So let's begin with the video. So friends, to better understand what I am talking about in this video or what I will be covering in this video, first you have to go and watch the video on the FGSS kit in uh, which I have discussed more about all the components which are there in this kit. Then you will better understand that uh, which pumps I am talking about and which seal support system I am talking about. So better first go watch this FGSS kit video. Then only you will be able to understand this uh, HP seal support system. So uh, before going any further and discussing the HP seal support system, let's first discuss the components which we have missed out in the previous video on FGSS kit. So the first thing which I am going to discuss is this return cooler. So why this return cooler is, uh, is given in the FGSS kit? So as the LPG passes through the main engine, some excess amount of LPG is provided to maintain the temperature. That excess LPG comes out from the main engine at a temperature of around 52 to 53 degrees Celsius. And that has to be uh, cooled down to around 34 degrees Celsius. So for that purpose, this return cooler is provided. So this return cooler basically cools down the excess LPG which is coming out from the main engine and again uh, supplies that cooled LPG back to the HP pumps suction. So the next thing which we will see is why we have cash tank in the FGSS kit. So basically this cash tank comes into use when we are either starting the engine or stopping the engine. So from the previous video, you can see that how it is used during starting and stopping of the engine. So during starting, this catch tank provides positive suction head to the HP pumps because this catch tank is always maintained at 23 bars. And this 23 bar pressure is maintained by the nitrogen supply. So nitrogen over here is supplied at, at around 34 bars and which is reduced by this pressure control wall and this pressure control wall always maintain, maintains the cash tank pressure at 23 bars. So this 23 bar nitrogen pressure basically provides positive suction head for this HP pumps. So when this FGSS skid started, this cash tank provides positive suction head for the HP pumps. Now during stopping, when uh, main engine is changed over from secondary fuel to primary fuel, then in that case, the leftover LPG, which is there in the engine piping, is directed towards this catch tank. And you must be thinking that why to direct this uh, leftover LPG to the catch tank. And the reason is this LPG is pushed back to the catch tank with the help of nitrogen. So the nitrogen, which is there in the uh, system or which is used for pushing the leftover LPG from the main engine to the catch tank can enter into this FGSS kit. So to avoid that, suppose if that nitrogen enters into this FGSS kit, so that will create problem for these pumps. So to avoid that, we will uh, collect this mixture of nitrogen plus the leftover LPG in the piping in this catch tank and that mixture uh, can be uh, that mixture can be separated basically the nitrogen can be separated and it can be vented out through the purge tank to the atmosphere so basically to avoid entering of nitrogen into the fgss kit the uh, leftover uh, lpg which is pushed from the uh, main engine is uh, directed towards the catch tank and uh, this basically solves the problem of uh, nitrogen entering into the fgss kit now one more thing will come in your mind that this uh, catch tank already have nitrogen in it and so during starting if this wall opens then there are chances that uh, when the level in the catch tank reduces the, the nitrogen in this tank can enter again into the FGSS kit. So to avoid that this wall is basically a level control wall. So this wall will always maintain level in this catch tank and suppose if this wall is malfunctioning then at a certain level you will get an alarm and the whole system will be shut down or uh, that will uh, basically initiate an emergency shutdown and 
this will avoid entering of nitrogen from the gas tank into the fgss kit now friends if you have noticed that in the nitrogen supply line this is the nitrogen supply line to the gas tank and uh, this is the nitrogen supply line to the hp seal support system so this thing you have observed in both the systems so why this kind of arrangement is there in this arrangement two inlet walls are provided and in between uh, the section with uh, in between section of these two walls is vented to the atmosphere so why this kind of arrangement is provided so this type of arrangement is basically called the block and bleed system so these two walls can be shut and the uh, the gases which are there in the in the section between these two walls can be vented back to the atmosphere so basically this type of arrangement is a class requirement so for this uh, dual fuel uh, engines this system is a class requirement now we'll see uh, what is the purpose of providing these systems let's suppose uh, this nitrogen uh, in this nitrogen line the nitrogen generator is not working and the, there is some problem with the nitrogen generator so this side of the wall will get depressurized and uh, uh, pressure will be there in the gas tank so there are chances that uh, the lpg can enter through these walls into the nitrogen system uh, if these two walls are not holding then there are chances that this can enter into the nitrogen system so for that purpose this uh, uh, block and bleed system is provided so that these two walls can be blocked or basically uh, these two walls can be shut or both systems can be isolated and the in between section can be vented to the atmosphere so friends from my side i have tried to cover the purpose of each component in the fgss kit and uh, if you think that i have missed out something then you can comment and you can tell me that which all components you need to you need more information so that i can make a separate video on those components now we will see the seal support system or the seal support system for hp pumps so basically this hp pumps are having a mechanical seal or you can say double mechanical seal so in case the double mechanical seal gets damaged so how we will come to know in ums condition or basically when the machinery is unattended so in that case it will be very difficult and that will create a very dangerous situation so for that purpose we have this uh, this nitrogen seal support system for this hp pumps now let's see how this seal support system works in detail so nitrogen in the nitrogen generator is produced at two different pressures so one nitrogen is produced at around 300 bars and stored in the bank of uh, bottles and uh, one nitrogen which is produced at around 10 bars and it is stored in a bottle so this n bar uh, nitrogen base is basically called the lp nitrogen is supplied for the seal support system now this seal support system will reduce n bar nitrogen to at around uh, 0.35 to 0.4 bar pressure so this reduced 0.4 bar nitrogen is supplied to the chamber in the hp pump so both the hp pumps will have this chamber this chamber will be after the mechanical seal so if there is some leakage or basically this mechanical seals are not 100 percent uh, leak proof there will be a small amount of a small amount of leakage so the mixture of nitrogen plus the leaked lpg from the mechanical seal will be purged out back to the atmosphere so this leakage will be very small and this this uh, this this line which is going to the atmosphere or the venting line from the pumps will have a flow sensor or the flow detector in it so so this flow detector or the flow sensor which is there in the venting line will be set to a minimum value because there will be a small amount of leak from the mechanical seal always because these mechanical seals are not 100 percent leak proof so small amount of leakage will be always there so accordingly the value is set for the detector now if suppose the mechanical seal is leaking to a large extent then what will happen the flow in the uh, venting line will increase and that will be detected by the uh, flow detector or the flow sensor and that will give an alarm as well as it will shut down the whole system 
so this flow sensor which is there on this venting line is one means by which we can detect the leakage of uh, lpg from the mechanical seal there is one more way by which we can also detect the leakage or damage mechanical seal so nitrogen over here is supplied at around 0.4 bar pressure and the return from the from these pump or the return nitrogen from these pump is at around 0.15 to 0.2 bar so this pressure difference can be also used for detecting the leakage like suppose the there is a leak or there is uh, some damage to the mechanical seal then what will happen a large amount of lpg will enter that chamber in which the nitrogen is supplied so now the pressure difference will reduce and so this pressure difference will be detected and this will give an alarm as well as it will shut down the system so overall if you see that uh, the nitrogen is supplied at 10 bar it is reduced to around 0.4 bar and from 0.4 bar nitrogen is supplied to the hp pump uh, sealing chamber and then from over there it is vented to the atmosphere while it is vented it is also monitored its flow is monitored as well as the pressure difference the inlet and the outlet uh, pressure difference is also monitored and if any changes are there in the flow or as well as in the pressure difference then it will give an alarm and it will shut down the whole system so friends this was all about fgss kit and the hp seal support system so now in the next video we will see the uh, cooling circuit or the heating circuit uh, which is there for the lpg coolers and lpg heaters so how this circuit works that we will cover in the next video so till there take care have fun